to the Daily Dish. I'm Shay Pasta. Okay, last week we were at Chevron's for wine tasting and I love them so much I had to come back because I met their fabulous chef who promised to teach me how to make some classic dishes and here he is. This is Chef Jesse Martin. Thanks for having me. Hello, good to be here. Okay, so what are we making today? Hi, it's a rice dish. The key to it is saffron, rice, seafood, and sausage are a pork product. Anybody can do this, right? You Anybody don't need special can do ingredients, it. no special techniques. Nothing special. It's okay. just cooking like rice at your house. Just you add a lot more, uh, you know, stuff to it and seafood. Okay, and I see you got a couple glasses of wine for us. Yes. What's, what's the wine that goes with cooking this particular meal? This would be Hedges. It's our uh, one of our favorite wines here at Chevron. Okay. So okay. maybe we should try it. Right now. I think we should. I think we should. We should give it a big toast first. Cheers. So good. Now that's the way to start cooking. Okay, yes. what are we doing? Uh, we want to make sure our pan is hot. Okay. My fingers almost sizzled. Okay. The smoking is very important when you're cooking anything in a saute pan. I didn't know that. Why? So you want to sear it and seal in the flavors. We're going to start with a little garlic. These are wahi wahio chili flakes. They're spicy, but they have a little sweetness. Then we're going to start out with our onions. Red onion. Ooh, oh my god, that smells so good. Poblano peppers. So anytime you go to the store and you're thinking of buying a green pepper, buy a poblano. Okay. There's a lot more flavor and the end result will be so much better. Yeah, and for yeah. our fourth product, we're going to use serrano ham, which is uh, mountain cured like prosciutto from Spain. Very tasty, a little salty, so you got to watch the salt content. And then we're going to add some uh, concassade poached tomatoes. That means they're peeled and uh, poached in water a little bit. This we're going to just stir around for a minute or two. Let all the flavors you know, develop, concentrate. Nice. Now, how long do you want these to saute for, approximately? Probably about five minutes. Okay. okay. So we're going to let these simmer and get almost translucent, but not fully. Uh, vegetables are mediocrely translucent. Okay, that looks nice. Smells mm. tremendous. Beautiful. So at this point, we're going to add our... Uh, Jasmine rice or whatever kind of rice you have. And you can use any kind of rice for this? Yes. Okay. It just depends on the rice cooking time. And then you add your saffron, which is the key. Saffron is the key. Saffron is the key. It makes the rice really? yellow. Oh. But it's red, what you just put in there. It is red. It comes from the crocus flower. Okay. It's a little tiny, you know, pinky sized flower, and there's three threads per flower. That's and why it's so expensive. People hand pick them, yes. Oh my. In Spain. I feel so privileged right now. <laughs> it's the most expensive spice in the world. It is. It's that very expensive stuff that I never buy. Now I have a reason to buy it. Though. Yes. Okay. And it's a little goes a long way. Definitely. Okay. That's all good. Oh, we just put a pinch in here. This probably will feed about five to six people. Okay. And this cooks for how long? This will cook for just a minute, and then we're going to okay. deglaze it with white wine. Ooh. Deglazing is the foundation of any cooking. When you deglaze after you cook your vegetables, and it uh, concentrates all the flavors. It sounds fancy. Do you ever have a hard time pouring it in there when you want to be drinking it? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay, all right. Sometimes so you gotta try it a couple times before you pour it in Yes, there. you have to make sure it's a good quality. Because you don't want to put cheap liquor in there, right? No, definitely. No, no, not cheap liquor. Definitely. We don't want to put, you know, Dom Perignon in there, but... Okay. So quality, so quality, but not cheap. Yes, if okay. you have a, a half a bottle that sit on the shelf in your you know, cupboard for quite a while, put that in okay. all your cooking products. All right. You know, there's hardly any liquid that is off sec, which means almost dry in French. So I think we're almost there. And then we're going to put in a little, uh, this is lobster and shrimp stock. Where do you find that? Actually, we make it here with our shrimp shells okay. and our lobster shells. Can you, but if, if it was me at home, where would I buy that? I would buy some lobster or shrimp paste. Okay. From the uh, local uh, Japanese store. Oh, all right. And, and then just put it with water? And, and mix it with water, uh -huh. boil it, and taste it. Make sure it's not too salty because the paste are intended, you know, usually a little salty. Okay. And then how long will this cook? This will cook until the uh, liquid is gone. Okay. And then we'll add more until the rice is al dente. Out there. Perfect. So roughly? We'll see about Five to eight minutes. Five to eight minutes, okay. The rice is getting dry, so we're gonna add a little more liquid. Okay. So we need a little bit more, because we're gonna poach our seafood in here. Oh. Actually. And we have beautiful seafood. Oh my goodness, that looks gorgeous. We have our gigantic shrimp. These are our Prince Edward Island mussels. Put them down in okay. the 
fries so they cook. All right. Just random so the places. seam is up? Yes. Okay, got it. You put the uh, tail in in the bottom so okay. it cooks. And it will open up eventually, or very fast. Yeah, if you ever have a shellfish that's not open, do yourself a favor, throw it away. The other key to paella, saffron and peas. And, you know, we just have regular frozen peas, we'll put those on top. That little greenness. Love it. Oh. Just leave it set until it's done. Must be time for another glass of wine. Yes, it okay, is. Okay, let's do it. I like the style. So here we go, the liquid is almost gone. It's almost gone. We're gonna wait till it's all sec, almost dry. Almost dry again, okay. Almost dry, so we have a little liquid to go. You can serve it in a bowl or straight in the pan. That's how I do it, because the presentation of all the seafood is uh, amazing. Everybody grab a fork and just come on over. Crowd kind of pleaser, yes. That was easy, I could do that. You totally could, anybody could. It's that That's easy. so good. All right. Try all it, right. make sure the rice is al dente is the only thing that See, you we just be have aware. to test it as the chef. The rice. Mm. I think it's perfection. Once You're again, good. once again, he did it. Um, thank you for being with us. Oh, my you can pleasure. get more information at chevrons.com. And of course, great recipes right here on chinos.com. I'm Shea Pasa. I'll see you next time. Okay, back to eating. High five. Thanks for watching She Knows TV. Look for more of the daily dish at SheKnows.com.